Everybody loves a squeaky. Good morning, friends. <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> Thursday today and I'm gonna just jump right into this right now. Yesterday I was struggling a lot with feeling just like overly anxious. I don't really have a reason for the anxiety. It was one of those days where I felt like, what am I doing with my life? You, you feel like you have to figure out everything all at once. You feel like you can't shut off your brain. You just keep thinking about everything and it's just in your brain and you keep getting stuck on it. Because something that I struggle with is being the very bubbly person that I am. I have a very happy-go-lucky personality and yesterday when I was asked to go out, I was just feeling so anxious and it's, I just didn't want to go out. It wouldn't have been good for me, my mental health, anything. And I struggle with guilt thinking that I won't be believable. How can you say no to hanging out with me when you seem perfectly fine, you know, yesterday or the day before? That's not how anxiety works. And that's something that's really helped my anxiety is to realize that you can be happy and still have anxiety. You can have good days and still have anxiety. You can go out and you can still have anxiety and make your struggle any less valid just because you have good days here and there. And I know it's hard, whether it be your friends or your parents to explain to them, but that is what anxiety is. Anxiety is something that comes randomly. You can't predict it. You can be having the best day in the world one day and the next day you're, you know, rolled up in your bed crying because you just don't even know what you want to do with your life. So when I'm truly really anxious, it's usually when I'm alone and I'm not around people so people don't see it and I don't have to prove that to anyone. I think a lot of the time my anxiety comes from fear. I get anxious when people don't text me back. I think that, you know, I fear that they hate me. I fear that I'm annoying. That anxiety just stems from fear and you keep thinking and it just, it takes over your brain to the point where that's all you can think about and it's just, it makes you believe these crazy things about yourself. And I never wanted to go on medication. I was afraid that being on medication would make me, you know, change my personality or make me not feel like myself. But it didn't because I didn't even really know it was working until I realized, oh my God, like, I realize that I'm getting anxious right now. I can kind of let the thought be here and then I can push it out. And that's not something that I would, was ever able to do before. I needed to get that out because you know what? Today I'm having such a good day and that just shows you how unpredictable anxiety is. And you know, some days I feel so anxious and other days I feel like I'm on top of the world. And today I feel really good, so I'm gonna go with it. But that's not to say that I still don't have bad days. And if you're having a bad day or you know, you struggle with the things that I struggle with, like you're not alone. And I don't want anyone to ever not speak or not talk about their anxiety because they feel like they're too happy or no one's gonna believe them because it's not about that. Because you can be happy and still be struggling. But I think that's about it. And now we'll start the morning off with some breakfast, so. Somewhere north of Florida, a little west of Georgia. At my best, you're not impressed, cause I'm a loser. We got some protein oatmeal. I really wish that I could say I had something more exciting for breakfast, but you know what? Gotta keep it real for you guys. Ma'am! Hello! How are you? Were you sleeping? <gasps> Come here! There she comes. <laughs> Hi! How are you? You're good? We got a big mirror down here, eh? Look, I'm still literally in my pajama pants. This is very embarrassing. Ma'am, I got a package. Do you like the bubble wrap? I don't know, she's probably scared of this. Fun fact to anyone that cares, but Mim and Beans, I adopted them both. They're brother and sister, at least that's what they told me. Apparently, they were abandoned in like a plastic shopping bag. So for like the first like five years of their life, anytime you would come home with like a shopping bag, they would just run, like they were terrified. Mimi, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears. We're all very proud of you. <laughs> You guys probably think I'm crazy. I literally talk to my cats like this all the time. Well, I'm going to grab a snack right now. We'll see what I find. All right, snack time is now. Oh, Mim's blanket is in the way. Guys, I've been loving fruit these days. Like, mm, I just, Mim, what are you doing? Oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna eat this and try and get that cat to behave because she's misbehaving. All right, so I literally just finished that bowl of fruit, but 
I just decided that I'm actually going to go to the gym right now. So I'm gonna be doing that. And now the key to making the gym fun again for me was not spending hours there. So I'm literally gonna go for a little work and I'm actually meeting my friend there, which is also funner. Funner is not a word. It's just fun to, you know, work out with somebody. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're not gonna record anything because if you wanna know what I do, like I said, I literally do Whitney Simmons workouts. I will see you after the gym. <laughs> oh my god, guys, all right. I am done my workout. I tried to do my hair again so I didn't look too disheveled, but there we have it. And oh my god, this is a highlighter. Sweat. Oh my god, guys, it feels so good to work out. Like, oh, I feel like I have so many endorphins. See, now that I don't go every single day, I appreciate the times where I go and I work out now because they actually benefit me. Like, I actually feel the benefits of working out. Like, I feel good. I don't, I'm not like exhausted all the time and feel like, oh, I gotta do this. Like, I actually had such a good workout. I did legs today, but I also like threw in some like bicep. It was really, really enjoyable. In there for exactly one hour. Like, literally from start to finish, I was in there for one hour but now I'm gonna go home and eat some lunch because I'm very, very hungry right now. Yeah, baby, girl, you're so damn fine, no. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, no. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, no. When it's over, I press for wine, no. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket gonna be my post-workout meal and unfortunately I only had one English muffin left so I did one breakfast sandwich and then I mixed hash browns with one of these jumbo wieners and the day of cheese melts and it's just it's just so good and I was craving this and I'm so excited to eat this guys right now mmm for the past like two hours, I literally have just been on work phone calls and it's just been kind of nuts. So I haven't really been vlogging, but having this, it's like a trail mix bar. I've been loving trail mix recently. What is it? Fruit and seeds nut bar? Yeah, okay, well that's what it is. I'm gonna have this for a little snack, head off to Starbucks. So yeah, we will get going right now. Bye, bye ma'am. Guys, guess who I found? Me. Me. Aw, how sweet of him, he bought me my little my little goodies. Very nice of you. So yeah, now we're gonna chillax here at Starbucks. He hates me. All right, so yeah, we are getting hungry now. So I'm actually gonna stop at Superstore, the grocery store, whatever, uh, pick up some groceries. Connor is gonna go stop and grab himself a pizza. <laughs> we're getting death stares by people in Starbucks right now. I honestly forgot I was getting a pizza and I'm like excited all over again. And then yeah, I guess we're, are you gonna come back home with me? We have two different cars, so yeah, meet me at my house. We're, we're rich. Connor. <laughs> what the hell? I'm broke. <laughs> I think I got like 100 bucks in my bank account for the next two weeks. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try and make this super quick. I have my little reusable bag right here that I'm gonna bring in with me, and I probably should not be grocery shopping on an empty stomach because I'm so hungry right now, but I'm gonna try and do this in like 10 minutes. You know what I got? Did you see Mim? Mm-hmm. Um, do you know what I got for tonight? What? Um, for a snack tonight, I got... English muffins. I got English muffins. Good. For you. And also, tonight, I bought day cheese. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna buy... I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna have nachos. Ooh! With the day cheese. Everybody loves squeaky. But for now, I'm gonna make dinner. You wanna make dinner? Good call. All right. Dinner time. Yeah. Having a big bowl, oh my God. This is probably easier just to show you guys. A big bowl of this minestrone vegetable soup. Little baby pitas. I'm just gonna dip them in my soup. Oh, look how juicy. Mm. I eat them, so that's gonna be my dinner. Guess what time it is? It's nacho time. I don't like people who don't like snacking. That is how you make nachos if you're super lazy. You just microwave them and then there is some deliciousness. So this is going to be my snack right now. Just a plate of Dea cheese nachos. Look at it. Look at the cheese. 
All right, we are back with more snacking. I just realized that this looks like we're snacking back to back, but there's actually been time between all of this. So I am making Connor right now an English muffin. And then for me, I'm going to be having a bowl of protein cereal. And I'm gonna mix all of these cereals together in a bowl. Wanna come snuggle? <laughs> All right, guys, so I am just in my room now. I'm about to start reading this book right here. It is called Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen. And about to eat, guys, can you guess it? Ah, Snickerdoodle Cookie! I'm so happy. I've been very upset lately. They changed the Snickerdoodle Cookie. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed that, but they're not the same anymore. And it's been really hard to find like the good ones with the cinnamon and sugar. And they're still not like the originals, but I mean, it's decent and I really enjoy eating them. So I feel like I can't just like stop eating them, but yeah, they're definitely not as good as they used to be, which is really, really unfortunate. I wanna say this, but I don't wanna sound cheesy when I say this, but seriously guys, I hope that you guys follow me on Instagram. Well, not really Instagram, but like more like Snapchat and stuff like that, because I really do post a lot when it comes to like YouTube and vlogs. And like, I wanna know ideas of what you want me to talk about. Like, do you wanna know about like, my protein intake, uh, that's that's something so random. Why would I just say that? I really love to know what you guys want me to talk about because I hope that these vlogs help you and I want you guys to take away something, not just me and Mim chilling in my bed. Anyways, I feel like I've been really talkative all day and I probably should stop. So I hope you had a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.